Thank you very much. Hello, I am George Takahashi. I am with the Purdue InVision Center. I'm the technical lead and project manager. And I came here to tell you a little bit, start off with a little bit of a story. Uh, about six years ago, we were approached by Dr. Uh, Steve Abel from the College of Pharmacy with a particular problem. Uh, here at Purdue University, we do not have a pharmaceutical grade clean room. Now, for those who do not know, a clean room is a facility where they do the medication preparation, and this is usually in hospitals. So what that means is the College of Pharmacy program, uh, the students were not getting the experience, so by the time that they're going out to their clinical rotations, they did not have the comfort or the kind of knowledge that you would get, so they were felt uncomfortable when they first go on to the field. So in order to alleviate that, similar to how uh, uh, pilots will use flight simulators to train to how to fly, we created a virtual reality simulator uh, and what you see right here, this is a picture of Dr. Abel preparing a pharmacy student uh, with, a, with the equipment used at the virtual reality simulation. So we created this thing to help students feel the comfort, get the knowledge, and the experience of going inside of a clean room to get them you know, feeling a little bit better about it. So previously they were using some sort of uh, role-played uh, in-classroom environment to kind of get them to you know, feel better about medication preparation. But with this virtual environment, we were able to create it so that it is changeable and adaptable to the USP 797 code, uh, which is the standard for sterile environments. So for the past six years, we have bring, been bringing in hundreds of students a year to get access to this simulator. So in a kind of boot camp fashion, we give students access to the simulator, navigate around the environment, garb up into the sterile clothing, and actually go through and prepare and assess uh, medication orders. Now here are some screenshots of the actual virtual facility. What you see right here, this is the anteroom or the location where the pharmacist will prepare to go inside of the sterile environment. We have a chemotherapy room, which is a location designed specifically for handling medications that are hazardous and dangerous used in, uh, for chemotherapy treatment. And we also have the main chemo room, or sorry, the clean room, which is where everything else is prepared. Now, when I mentioned that uh, we were training the students for identifying like safety problems or conforming to the USP 797 code, I he have here an example where we have a overflowing sharps container. So similar like this, we have actually placed a lot of improper objects around this virtual environment to get the students accustomed to finding these, um, these sanitary problems. We also in, uh, included the, addition, or the actual labels used in some of the vials so that we get used to seeing what these labels actually look like on the vials themselves. This would uh, help actually give them the knowledge of seeing you know, what these labels look like, what are the concentrations look like, and get them kind of used to the environment. So this is the actual virtual reality center here, uh, here at Purdue. Uh, it consists of a four-walled immersive uh, environment. We use head tracking and uh, 3D stereo to basically give you that immersive feeling. And we had a problem where we could not actually get the students inside of that environment for you know, long periods of time. So if we have, let's say, 300 students and we're bringing them in one by one, that causes a little bit of an issue. So to alleviate that, we created this portable system, which is a kind of an analog of our cave environment. It uses con uh, consumer level equipment. So we have a 3D TV, a Microsoft Kinect, and a Razer Hydra, which are basically gaming controllers, and use that to basically create that same experience on a more accessible level. So we can actually roll this device around and uh, take it to uh, an actual laboratory or actually market it to other laboratories as well. So taking it to the next level, we actually partnered with uh, the Purdue Hub Zero group so that we can actually create these simulations and place them online. What I have right here, this is a, uh, a site, the Institute for Accessible Sciences, one of our first simulations that we placed online where we created this uh, virtual walkthrough where, where students anywhere across the world could basically uh, go to this web page and navigate around inside of this uh, chemistry grade wet lab and uh, give them the experience of what it is like to be inside of or constrained to a wheelchair at the same time as trying to perform these chemical procedures. So in the same heart, we, able, we were able to uh, place uh, this simulation online and actually make this more accessible. So I was asked by one of our students from, uh, from a different university, well, what if, what if we want more, right? What if we want to take this to my university? Or uh, if there was a college that wants to be able to do this as a part of their program. So by placing this online, we have now been able to place this or add this into a school curriculum 
and make it available so it can be graded and be used for additional teaching as well as revisit it at a later time. Unlike our clean room or our virtual clean room facility that we have inside the cave, access to it is a little bit more restricted, and the equipment it can be or might not be available at that time. If it's available online, people can always revisit it at their own will. So I'm going to follow with an actual, uh, just a video capture of somebody walking through, and this is just this was actually played on a laptop where they're navigating around and uh, actually performing the process of preparing a medication order. In this particular example, the student is grabbing a uh, an IV bag, and then they're going over to grab one of the medication vials. You can see that as they uh, touch and grab each one of these vials, it, um, it actually brings up the label. So here they're going to begin the compounding procedure and the mixing the medication into the IV bag. And uh, by the end of it, that will basically, or it will capture how the student performs depending on if they violated any code. We can actually capture that and use that in that training program, assess their, uh, their knowledge, their experience, and then later on check by how comfortable they feel once they're deployed and uh, going on to their rotations. Ask them, okay, did this actually help? All right, um, so now that we've seen this, uh, we can actually apply this to other or multiple other disciplines. This is just an example of us working with the College of Pharmacy with this infrastructure already built and being able to place this online. We can now create these simulations to train multiple other fields, not just pharmacy, but uh, other disciplines as well. Thank you very much.